All right, shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash. The Bar of the Apostle knows a great millstone for teaching us. The Bar of the according to the Bar of well. And peace and blessings to the flight of the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. Will again to the Lord's will and edify and listen. On walking, on walking circumspectly, right? Because we're in those times. Well, we've always been in uh, serious times where the believers of Yah by Shema Shai will be an opposition with the world. But as things are getting uh, heightened up, and you know, the enemy Esau Edom is uh, is 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 ramping up his slander and and false witnesses and. All these things he has prepared uh, for the times that we're coming into, you know, we must be blameless in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema by Shai. But in, in order for us to do that, you know, we got we got to stay on guard, stay on watch that we don't fall uh, fall to to the deception that's coming. You see. This is Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore you say, if awake thou that sleepest, right? Now is not the time to have your head in the sand, right? Our eyes should be sharp. Our, we, should, we, should, we should be knowing exactly what's going on, what times we're in, right? What prophecies are happening, right? We have to wake up out of that sleep. It says, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest, right, and, and arise from the dead. We have to come out of the ways of these other nations, you know, as our environment and what we are constantly being pushed, what's constantly being pushed upon us is adverse to, to the ways of Yahweh by Shema Washai, right? We're constantly seeing behaviors and of the people that are that go against the ways of Yah by Shema Washai, you know, and we cannot let those things uh, influence our uh, good habits and behaviors. We cannot let the way of this world, you know, uh, a job, you know, whatever uh, situation that you're in, uh, uh, stop you from being active in the ministry, stop you from being active on your post. That we've been given in these last days through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Washai. It says, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and the Mashiach shall give thee light. And Yahweh Shai is giving us light. You know, he's revealing unto us, you know, uh, his secrets, his mysteries, you know, that will be done in these last days. And he's showing us, you know, how to maneuver in this world. You see how we should be conducting ourselves. And how is he showing us that through the leaders and, and teachers? You know, the, the apostle knows the great millstone, the men of the Lord that he's given us to show unto us the whole way of salvation. You see, it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, right? Not as fools, but as wise, right? So we have to be. This word circumspect, circum, meaning around, spec means to look. So we have to be uh, fully looking around, you know, understanding, you know, that damn, you know, you know, no, nah, I can't do that. That, that, that that's, a, that's an offense to the Lord, you know? No, that, that's dangerous up there, right? There's, there's danger ahead, you know, I need to avoid, you know, doing that. You know, or I need to cut this out of my life, right? It says, this is uh, Proverbs 22 and 3, a, uh, a prudent man foreseeth the evil, right? A prudent man, to foresee, it means you have foresight, right? You're a visionary. You're, 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 you, you, you have, uh, you, you, you can see, you can discern the things that are going to happen in the future, right? Through, through, uh, and, and, and prudence dealing with you, you, you can, can realize if something's going to be dangerous, you see? So a prudent man, a man that walks caution with caution, right? A cautionary tale. Let's get the definition for what's going to say prudence, right? A prudent man foreseeth the evil. 
in high of himself. Where is he hiding himself? In the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Right? Because as we go into these scriptures and, you know, we get the understanding, they, they teach us on how we should be conducting ourselves. They teach us on how we should be carrying ourselves, what type of uh, mental state we should have, what type of attitude we should have. Right? This, this is what the wisdom of Yahweh by Shema Shai is teaching us, is preparing us for the rows that have the rows of uh, persecution, the, the rows of peril. You see? In hide of himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So let's go back to Ephesians 5 and 14. It says, uh, we'll start 15 again. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, right? A fool is someone who does not fear the Lord. But as wise, right? Let's get that in Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, right? So someone who is wise, they're going to be taking the instructions that Yahweh Shema Shai is giving them, right? And the Lord wants us to continue to pray, you know, uh, continue the fast, you know, I was, um, I believe it's, yep, so this is, a uh, uh, Matthew 9 and 14, then came, then came to him the disciples of John, saying, why do we, the Pharisees, fast oft, meaning often, but thy disciples fast not? And when Yahweh said, and Yahweh said unto them, Can the children of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then they shall fast. Right? So we should be in the spirit of fasting, you know? It is written here that the disciples of Yahweh by Shema Shai will be fasting. Right, you know, we're standing, we're refraining from eating uh, food and, and water, right? And and also, what you can also fast from uh, your, your pleasures, right? Uh, you know, playing, playing video games, you know, uh, uh, you know, all, all these things, you know, that you can apply to your life that you can fast from watching TV shows, right. Because we have a job to do. We have to stay upon our watch, right? So you should be distracted. You should be uh, trying to implement fasting more. We should be trying to implement fasting more, you know, because everything I say, I'm talking to myself first and foremost, right? Into our walk, right? Inter intermittent fasting, re refraining from uh, going on water fast, right? Fruit fasts. Right, detoxing from the chemicals of this world. Right, maybe, 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 uh, you know, they have the these dopamine uh, detoxes you can do. Right, this is Ephesians five and fifth and sixteen. It says, "Redeeming the time, because the days are evil." Right, redeeming. Right, you should be uh, judging the times. Right, you should be able to judge the time that we are in. Right, it says of. Yahweh shall freeing the elect from the dominion of the law of Moses at the price of his death by payment, right? Uh, I don't like those definitions, but it says redeeming the time because the days are evil. We read in the, in the NLT, it says make most of the every opportunity in these evil days, right? So we should be able to judge that the times are evil. And we should we should understand that hey, we, 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 the time is short, right? The, with the time of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, returning, you know, and, and, and making his grand uh, entrance in the earth, you know, first via his prophecies coming to pass of, of World War Three and, you know, the micro sea hip. The world's going to know in, in these plagues and, and pestilence that are coming, 
the world's going to know that Yahweh Shema Oshai ha has done this, right? That's, that's, the, that's the point of his prophets, right? So knowing these things are coming, you know, there's a certain way we should be conducting ourselves, a certain way we should be acting, right? This is a Proverbs 14 and 15. It says, the simple believeth every word. But the prudent man looketh well to his going, right? So if someone who is wise, they're looking well into the future, you know? And how, how can we get a glimpse of what's coming uh, via the prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Washai, right? This is Ecclesiastes 8, sorry, verse 4. It says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Who may say unto him, what doest thou? Right, so the word of a king, right, the the word of Yahweh is speaking down here upon the earth. And and what he has spoken, you know, when the king speaks, he not only does he speak, he has the power to back up, you know, what he what he has decreed and, and proclaimed that he's gonna do. And where the word of a king is, where the word of Yahweh is, there is power. Right? So and who may say Unto him, what doest thou? How are you going to stop Yahweh by Shema Washai from bringing his word to pass? Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. Right? We're going to be in the midst of this time of trouble, but we're not going to we're not going to feel it like how you people feel it. Right? The, the, these plagues are coming upon the earth for the wicked. And we must remember that. So in our in in our remembrance of that, that should that should inspire us, right, to, to do that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Washai. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing in a wise man's heart, aka his mind, right, discerneth, right? So you're able to discern. Uh, uh, both time and judgment, right? So you got to be able to discern what times we're living in, right? Let's get the definition of discern. If it says to, to know, right? To perceive, right? So you should be able to, uh, to, to, to know uh, exactly what times we're living in, right? And you should be able to move. You you should have the spirit of you know spirit should be on you to 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 walk and to move a certain way. This is uh Second Peter three. And eleven, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, right? Nuclear destruction, everything. <clears throat> when it's all said and done, America will, uh, be uh. Uh, annihilated by Yahweh by Shema Washai. When it's all said and done, you see? When it's all said and done, the Lord is going to come back. Yahweh is going to come back and crack those clouds. And, 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 and the only thing that's coming out of uh, Babylon the Great, which is America, are the spirits uh, uh, of the elect. You see? So, so what's, what, what should you be investing in? Shouldn't you be in, in, in investing in you know, a spiritual growth, right? Spiritual uh, connection with Yahweh Shema Shai, rather than the carnal connections of this world. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons, what, what manner means your, your mannerisms, right? What, what mannerisms should you have in these last days? It says, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, right? And look at this word conversation, conversation, conversation. It's a an estrophe, right? It says manner of life, conduct, behavior, behavior, right? So, what what manner of life? What what mannerisms do you want to add to your life in these last days? A holy conversation and, and, and godliness, right? It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, right? Esau, Edom's rulership is going to be uh, burnt up by thermonuclear destruction in the chariots of uh, fire, right? A so-called black man is going to crack the clouds and, and come back on, on UFO ships and destroy Babylon the Great. 
You know, it, it sounds crazy, right? But but it's the truth, right? The the truth is stranger than fiction. It says, wherein the wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So we should be walking circumspectly, right, looking for these signs uh, that, will, that, will, that will come before Yahweh Shai would make his second return. Right. We should be looking for these signs. And as we see these signs, you know, we it, it, that, should, that should inspire us to continue on the path that the Lord is going to. Uh, make good on his promise the lord is going to uh to slay uh sl to slay the wicked and, and deliver you know his, his his hopeful elect you know lord's warm part of the elect right so with that the next time i'm gonna say shalom